Indonesian Health Ministry said that the number of COVID cases in Indonesia last week showing a declining trend compared to the same period a week earlier. The declining trend of COVID cases is supported by a similar trend from most of the regions in Java and Bali, according to Health Ministry spokesperson Siti Nadia Tarmizi. Bed occupancy rate so far is also still stable compared to last year when the Delta variant hit Indonesia between June to August. The highest positive COVID cases was on Wednesday last week with more than 64,200 cases. Though COVID cases is showing a declining trend, health protocol measures must still be applied, as well as vaccination program, the official says. As of Tuesday, Indonesia records nearly 189.7 million population that have received the first vaccine shots. About 140.2 million others are fully vaccinated and about 8.5 million people have received the booster shot. Indonesia expects to vaccinate about 208.2 million people. After the Singapore Airlines that has operated their flights to Bali in mid of February, three more international carriers have decided to return to Bali on the beginning of March. Indonesia's Minister of Tourism, Sandiaga Uno, says during a virtual press conference that three international carriers will return on Bali's Ngurah Rai International Airport includes KLM Royal Dutch Airline, Scoot, Tiger Air, and Jetstar Airways. They plan to have 10 flights to Bali weekly. They have scheduled direct flights connecting Singapore to Denpasar, Sydney to Denpasar, and Melbourne to Denpasar. Sandy hopes that these international flights carriers are able to carry thousands of foreign tourists to Bali every single week so that this could revive tourism business in Bali Islands. Maskapai dari Belanda, KLM Royal Dutch, akan mengoperasikan empat penerbangan dalam seminggu. Rutenya adalah Singapura dan Pasar dengan Boeing 700. Boeing 777 berkapasitas 408 penumpang. Scoot Tiger Air, basisnya Singapura, akan tiga penerbangan per minggu rute Singapura dan Pasar dengan Airbus 320 kapasitas 108 penumpang. Sementara Australian Jetstar Airways akan mengoperasikan tiga penerbangan dalam seminggu untuk rute Singapura dan Pasar dengan kapasitas 180 penumpang sedangkan rute Sydney dan Pasar dan Melbourne dan Pasar akan menggunakan uh, Boeing B788 kapasitasnya 335 penumpang Airbus 321 kapasitasnya 323 kursi penumpang dan Airbus 320 kapasitasnya 1, 186 penumpang